story to tell. Finland and Sweden, two traditionally neutral countries, have been considering the possibility of joining NATO since Russia launched a military operation in Ukraine in late February, making a major shift in the policy of the two Nordic countries. Since the Cold War, Sweden has built a fighter jet to intercept its potential enemy, the Soviet Union. The Sub-35 Dragon was developed between 1955 and 1974, serving as an effective supersonic fighter of the Cold War era. The decision was made to develop the Sub-35 Dragon supersonic fighter, making the beginning of perhaps the most daring chapter in the history of the Swedish aircraft industry. The new fighter jet was required to provide large weapon storage, long endurance, and the ability to take off from short runways. The Sub-35 Dragon adopted a completely new and unique design radically different from other fighters, known as the Dapper Delta Wing design. It consisted of two paired Delta Wings, with one Delta Wing within another larger Delta Wing. The inner wing has an 80 degrees angle for high-speed performance, while the outer wing has a 60 degrees angle for good performance and low speeds. The Sub-35 Dragon has is also known to be the first fighter capable of performing the Cobra maneuver, which involved the rapid lifting of the nose so much so that the airplane could turn 90 degrees vertical to the ground. While a pilot would face the sky, the airframe would form an enormous air break causing rapid slowdown of the airplane. Propulsion was provided by a single Svenska fly model RM6B or RM60 turbojet engine for a maximum speed of 2450 km per hour at 11,000 meters. The fairing range listed at 2750 km with external drop tanks. It also had a superior surface ceiling at 20,000 meters in comparison with fighters of its times, as well as the rate of climb is 199 meters per second. Beside the fact of being the first European supersonic jet fighter, the Dragon was the first fighter to have short takeoff and landing capabilities. The ram turbine positioned under the aircraft's nose provided emergency power, while the engine also featured a built-in emergency starter unit. The Dragon could deploy a drag chute to reduce its landing distance. The principal armament was carried externally up to four AIM-9 Sidewinder air to air missiles were carried on hard points beneath the wings and fuselage. Alternative payloads include a variety of bombs and rockets. Earlier version of the Dragon had two 30mm Aiton M55 cannons located within each of the inboard wing panels, later versions having only one cannon. In place of the cannons, additional fuel tanks could be fitted in the same space. For aerial reconnaissance missions, a variety of camera posts could be carried underneath the fuselage. Despite being conceptualized as an interceptor, 
Sub-35 performed well in dogfights and was able to undertake ground attack, training and reconnaissance missions as well, and it proved to be a very tough and resistant design, as it is among few jet fighter designs to be in service for 50 years. The design was so unique that, in fact, the Dragon was studied for the design and development of the F-16XL experimental prototype.